Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the quick scan feature is not working in the Windows Defender application on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Search for services. Best match, should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go down to the Microsoft Defender Antivirus service. And double click on it. Make sure service status is running. If it's stopped, you want to go ahead and select start. And the startup type should also be set to automatic. So if you have to make any adjustments in there, I recommend making those adjustments like I just said. Startup type should be automatic and the service status should be running. And then you would select apply and then OK. And then something else we can try here as well, if you close out of here, open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, or come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import, and then navigate to the file location. So now that you've done that, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for policies, so go ahead and double click on that should be a Microsoft folder in here, double click on it. And there should be a Windows Defender folder, just left click on that one time. If you notice any files over here on the right side, so again, make sure you're under the Windows Defender subkey. Each backslash up here at the top is a different subkey that we went under to get here. So if you see any values over here, any D word values, so let me just go ahead and create one here. If you see anything that has a value of one, see this data one, double click on it. Set the value data to zero, so delete the one, type the number zero in here, and then select OK. So again, any D word values, so REG D word values that might show up in here, you either want to delete them or just set them to zero, which is essentially turning it off. You can do either or. I would recommend just turning them to zero, though, just to play it safe here. I guess it's easier to turn it back on if you wanted to re-enable it for some reason, if you just kept the value. So just take note of that you know, pretty straightforward. And once you've done that, for any items listed in here, you would want to close out of the registry editor. And you would need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So let's go ahead and restart our computer at this time. So now that we're back in Windows here, I'd suggest opening up the search menu, type in CMD. Best results should come back with Command Prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now I will have a couple commands in the description of my video, guys. The first one is a DISM scan. So go ahead and copy that and then go to the top bar of the Command Prompt window here. And right click on it, select Edit and paste that in. Hit enter to begin that scan. Just give this a couple minutes to run.
Okay, so once that scan has concluded, go ahead and copy the second command in the description of my video here, guys. It's the System File Tracker Utility Scan. And then go to the top bar of the command prompt here, right-click on it, select Edit, and paste that in, and hit Enter. Okay, so once that's concluded, go ahead and close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. Okay, so now hopefully at this point if you attempt to run a quick scan with Windows Defender, you should be good to go. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.